YouTube. What's good, family? Y'all already know. Day one of the van project. Uh, Blah is supposed to be doing some wiring on this project. And uh, I went ahead and started doing the box. Um, I got a top and a bottom cut. And I got uh, some sides and everything marked off. So I'm about to cut my second sheet of wood. I realized that I wasn't recording anything and I picked up the camera so I can catch you guys up. I'm trying my best to keep y'all guys on track, but y'all know how I am, man. I just be wanting to get it done. So it is what it is. I'm sorry, I'm trying to do better. But uh, like I said, this is going to be two sides or whatever. I'm just trying to do the outside shell so we can make sure we're not going to run into any fitment issues as far as being able to slide it in the uh, van past the doorway. Um, I measured it, but I measured it real fucking close because, of course, you know, I need all the airspace I can get. But um, stay tuned in. Uh, I'm going to time lapse y'all a little bit, let y'all see me work a little bit, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut these two out, and I'm going to probably cut some more. We'll see. Let me see if I can't get the stand set up to where you can see. I don't have no room in here right now, and uh, my actual table that I need to be cutting stuff on is uh, back there. It's like a cart table thing that I used to cut. You see it's got the big freaking wood top. It's like a piece of MDF that I use. It's like my table saw. But, uh, or not my table saw, but my uh, saw horses. But it's kind of out of commission right now. So, uh, yeah. We're doing it the old school ghetto way. We just got this thing sitting on a box. Uh, I am going to add a chair or something on the other side to try to make it a little bit more sturdy. But uh, I'm old school, that shit doesn't bother me, and I'm not going to waste too much time worried about it. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Let's get it. All right, family. So, as you've seen in the hyperlapse, I just cut uh, two sides. I already had a top and a bottom. Um, I'm going to go ahead and clean up some of this mess so I can 
set up something a little bit better to cut on because this thing's slowing me down a little bit. I mean, it ain't that much of a deal, but at the same time, I can clean this mess up a little bit and work a little bit faster. So let me clean this mess up right quick, and I'm going to get back with you. I'm going to rip a couple more pieces. Let's get it. YouTube. What's good, family? I'm sorry, you guys. As you see, I cleaned up the mess. I set out another chair, and I had it set up good to where every time when I cut a piece, it wouldn't fall and all that. And I forgot to turn the camera on again. I'm sorry, guys. But um, now I have a top, a bottom, two sides, and a back. So that's pretty much a shell. So uh, I'm about to clean this up and see if I can't get something stationary. And uh, I'm gonna try to remember this time and time lapse show. And I'm gonna start putting this together. Cause like I said, all I want to accomplish tonight is getting the outside shell done. That way, whenever he gets off of work tomorrow, he can come by and uh, we can see if the outside shell will go through the doorway so I'll know if I got to do any kind of tweaking or cutting before I get too far in. Um, I think we're doing a six order. So, um, yeah. Uh, we're going to do one big outside shell. And then, of course, we're going to use the baffle to section it off. So, we're doing it old school. We're doing it budget. We're doing it simple. We're doing it clean. We're doing it fast. So... If you don't like how I'm doing it, I'm sorry. Start sending some ducats this way, and uh, we'll start doing it your way. Until then, shut the fuck up and sit back and watch the show, because it is what it is, and this is what we're doing, and we have all our own reasoning for doing the things that we're doing the way that we're doing it. And uh, for you that are dying because of that guard on the saw, I'm sorry. I try my best to be extra careful with it because the guards broke off of there, but that's an awesome saw and it's really not worth going to get a new saw just because the guards off of it. It is what it is. I'm sorry. So you safety warriors, stop squinching. I am well aware that there's not a guard on that saw. I always take my time. I wait for it to stop completely before I set it down. Um, I always keep my hands and body parts and everything else clear of the blade so I mean it is what it is you just have to deal with it uh, other than that I think that's the only thing that I have to address so any of you that are still here hey let me get this shit set up and uh, we're gonna see if we can't go ahead and get the shell put together and uh, we'll be ready for tomorrow's video which will be day two as long as the shell fits then all I have to do is cut baffles and make a port and we're done. So stay tuned in. Let's get it. YouTube what's good family. I'm sorry guys. I had the camera on the stand and I thought I started recording and I didn't ever start it. It was just sitting on the stand. Mm God, excuse me. I'm trying you guys. I'm hectic trying to hurry up and do this so I can get in the house and get to bed because I got to get up early in the morning. I got other things I got to do, but I definitely want to have this a complete show before I go in. So I've been rushing and I'm sorry I didn't get the footage, but it is what it is. Uh, it's turned uh, sideways. Technically, the piece on the bottom is the uh, back and uh, this is the top and this is the bottom and that's one of the sides uh, I put it like this just so I can keep it squared up and just to make it easier to screw in so it is what it is uh, I'm about to put that side in and then throw this side in and I'm going to be done for the day or whatever but it is what it is uh, let me get this screwed in and uh i give you another update and let y'all see what the outside shell looks like so you can kind of reference the size or whatever. I mean, you can't really tell until I start getting baffles and stuff like that in it, but you know what I mean. 
let you see the progress. Like, share, and subscribe. I'm sorry, you guys, but I'm getting as much footage as I can and working as fast as I can at the same time. So it is what it is. Let's get it. Stay tuned in. Like I said, at least the full shell at the end of this video. Let's get it. YouTube. What's up, family? I just wanted to give y'all a quick little wrap up. Let y'all know I did what I said I was gonna do. And finish this video up for the day. But uh, as you can see, the outside shell is done. Hopefully it fits and um, we'll go from there tomorrow. Uh, I'm probably going to go ahead and cut the baffles and some other pieces tomorrow. Whatever pieces I can think of that I can cut that will work no matter what. Like if we end up having to cut some more off the pieces that I cut will still work no matter what. That's what I will cut tomorrow uh, morning. And then, cause he don't get off work till five. So that don't leave much time. So I'll probably try to cut some baffles and I'll probably try to cut some front pieces or I'll probably go ahead and double start doubling. Cause, uh, I'm going to double everything. Um, except for the sides, I'm going to double the bottom. I'm going to double the top. I'm going to double the back. I'm going to double everything except for the sides. So, it is what it is. I'm going to get back at it early tomorrow. I got to pick up an order and drop some things off. And I don't know exactly what time I'll get started. But um, I'm going to try to get started on early. And I'm going to see what all I can get cut before he gets off of work. So, stay tuned in. Like, share, subscribe. Hope you stay tuned in to the end so you can see what this project going to end up like. Let's get it.